This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Division is a first time competitor here for Norwalk Havoc. This is Division version 2. One of the benefits to this chassis design is it's very low to the ground. It's big. The Division Pump capitalized. Division. Oh, and what a huge hit! Hey there, this is Seth Chafer from Team Just Cause Robotics. And as I'm filming this video, it is November 22nd, 2024, and I currently have 9,993 subscribers on this YouTube channel. It has been quite the journey to get to this point, and I'm really proud of everything that I've accomplished over the last five years on YouTube. I started this YouTube channel in September of 2019. The very first video I ever uploaded wasn't one I even recorded at all. It was just ripped from one of the Norwalk Havoc livestream footages, and that was at my very first event attended with Division version 1.0. I never even made a dedicated video about that event or about that robot, but the first actual edited recap that I had for an event was for Division version 2.0, and that was uploaded on September 29th of 2019. Since then, this channel has gained quite the following within the Comet Robotics community. 10,000 subscribers in the grand scheme of YouTube is a very, very small number, but every time that I go to a local combat robot event, I get recognized by people and told that either they got into combat robotics from watching my channel or found out about NHRL from watching my channel, or they were inspired to build their first robot or get their kids to build their first robot because of watching my videos on YouTube. And that is what's been motivating me to keep doing YouTube this whole time. It's really fulfilling to see that I've been able to do what I was hoping to do, which is to bring the awesome world of Comet Robotics to more people. I've always wanted to reach a wider audience if possible with this YouTube channel. At least with the 10,000 people who do actually watch this channel regularly, I can say that I've made a pretty big impact on a lot of their lives, and that is really special to me. Because of that, I would like to be able to give back to all of you who subscribed and made the YouTube algorithm spread my videos to an even wider range of people and even wider audience. And I'm going to be doing that via a giveaway. On the floor behind me here are a bunch of parts from Division version 4.0, and I'm going to be giving away 24 different components from the robot, plus this entire mostly assembled battle damage frame from Division V 4.0, which fought at the January event this year, which coincidentally is also the most watched video on my YouTube channel released in 2024. To enter into that giveaway is completely free. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and then go down into the description and open up a link to a Google form, which you can fill out with just a few questions about my YouTube channel, just to make sure that everybody who's filling it out is an actual human. And you'll also need to add your name and email address so that I can announce and find the winners. And 25 of you will be randomly given one of those parts or the entire robot chassis as the grand prize. You won't have to pay for anything unless you're located outside the United States, and then I may ask for you to pay for shipping. Um, and of course, if you are already in the United States or outside of it, but you were gonna place an order from justcuzrobotics.com and you happen to be selected as a winner, then I can also just add it for free to the order that was gonna be shipped out anyway. So check the link in the description to enter. This video is also sponsored by PCBWay, and while they haven't directly organized anything with me related to this giveaway, the money that I get from them for making this video a sponsored video will pay for the shipping expenses for all 25 of those products, because even if it's only $5 for each one, that's still $125 in shipping fees to send those all out to everybody. So thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. They machined one of the parts that will be given away actually. This uh, 4130 Ally Steel flywheel shaft, which was used to spin up the flywheel. Well, this one was a spare, but it's a de part designed to spin up the flywheel on Division V4 with the uh, knurled wheel coupled on this side and the flywheel coupled on this side. So make sure to check out PCBWay down in the description if you have any CNC machining requirements for any of your projects, and you can use my link to get $5 off of your first order. 
Now, since 10,000 subscribers is such a great milestone, I figured it would be nice, other than just doing this giveaway, to also have everybody take a look at some of my past videos and kind of walk down memory lane a bit with me, all the way back down to my earliest videos in 2019 and moving forward. I have made a surprisingly large number of robots in the five years that I've been doing this YouTube channel. Just looking at the list that I wrote down here. So in order, I started with Division version 1.0. Then I built a 12 pound robot called Draconid, which hasn't been seen on this channel since I think 2020. I eventually sold Draconid, so I don't even have it with me to show anybody. Um, I then built my one pound Antweight mini mulcher during COVID lockdowns, as well as Straplomide and three pound version one, which had the front hinge flipper mechanism. That is sitting on the top left of that shelf behind me, the blue one. Uh, then I built uh, SSP, Shameless Self Promotion, which of course is also available as a kit you can buy on JustCauseRobotics.com and is in my opinion the best way to get started in the sport of robot combat if you're looking to compete in the three pound weight class. And then on top of that, we've got Subtraction, which started out as a modified version of SSP, but has grown into very much its own robot. And this year I got to compete on the Teams event that was aired on ESPN, which is pretty awesome. Then, of course, we have my one pound bot Sonic, which is the newest brand new build to this fleet of bots. And it was also kind of made almost on a whim last year when I wanted to upgrade Mini Mulcher, but didn't have time for an event. So I threw together a completely new robot with just parts I had lying around. And then it went on in its very second event to win the entire Maker Battle tournament. I just brought it to another Maker Battle tournament, uh, and I haven't posted the recap from that yet, but I'll show a clip of it here. And I built a brand new version of Sonic for that tournament, though I had a few issues with it. Oh, Milo wants to say hi. Yeah, hey, Milo. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Milo thinks you should subscribe to my Patreon too, doesn't he? Make sure to be a YouTube subscriber as well, not just so you can enter the giveaway, but so you can see all the awesome event recaps that are going to come out in the next few weeks and months as I finally have enough time to edit them all. I've got event recaps from Sonic version 2, Shrapnel Mine version 2, and Division version 4.5 all queued up that I have plans to edit in the next few weeks. Moving on to talk a little bit about my business. Just Cause Robotics LLC was officially founded in 2021, two years after I started this YouTube channel. I started the business partly just to sell a few power distribution boards that I had cooked up after teaching myself PCB design, since I knew that wiring was one of the biggest challenges that every new bot builder faces. Since then, I just kept on figuring out what products were missing from the market that I could work on developing and providing to people myself to make it easier for more and more people to get into the sport of combat robotics, building their own custom robots from scratch. After several years of doing that, it was only at the very start of the year in 2023 that I introduced the SSP kit after building the first version of Shameless Self Promotion and competing with it at the new bots event at NHRL that year. SSP was a big hit and I sold 30 kits in the first month and have continued to sell quite a few for every month after that. At this point I've shipped more than 220 SSP kits all around the globe and I'm pretty sure that I've shipped kits to at least 7 different countries outside of the United States. The SSP kit has made it possible for more and more builders to get involved in Comet Robotics and I'm really proud to see builders like Julian Papazian and his sister Dima Papazian doing so well, getting their start with something like the SSP and then turning that into an awesome custom bot like Mako and then branching out on their own to do something as incredible as Turbo Fiend, which just took home a golden dumpster at the last NHRL tournament Winner in October. Is. It's absolutely amazing to see stories like that from builders who got their start from an SSP kit as a jumping off point and were able to learn things on their own and from my videos that taught them what they needed to become a top tier competitor in less than two years into this journey. So that is really awesome and fulfilling as well. 
Um, as far as business milestones go, this year I have sold over 1,650 orders since January 1st of 2024. And I have also had over 50% growth in sales compared to last year. So that is pretty awesome to see, even though I'm not exactly rolling in dough because I reinvest almost every dollar I can straight back into the business. I still am able to pay my living expenses entirely through the business. And I've gotten over $200,000 in sales so far this calendar year in just pure revenue. With Just Cause Robotics, I'm always trying to push the boundaries of what's possible in combat robotics as well. I was the first to develop a hub motor from the ground up specifically for combat robot weapons in the beetle weight class, and the first ever to do it in the ant weight class as well, with the 5022 that came out more recently. That motor powered the hammer saw bot Boink to a first place win at the RCE event that Shrapplemine V2 just competed at, and Turbo Fiend won the Beetleweight division of the NHRL October event using the Beetleweight 5536 version of the motor as well. Both of those have been kicking ass and taking names in their respective weight classes. And I've got some pretty cool design updates coming in the next version of the 5022 to make it even better than it already is. I'm also always cooking up new innovative products. The Blitz Pro drive motors are my latest really important release as the first brushless drive product that Just Cause Robotics has ever offered. These are going from zero to 100 as far as the performance and durability that you can get from a combat robot. I only offered brush drive motors before because my mentality was always that I wanted things to be as easy to use as possible. And brushless had some inherent risks in terms of being complex and difficult to program. But through working out different suppliers and supply chain issues, I was able to find some speed controllers that I could get pre-flashed with AM32, which is by far the best firmware to use for brushless drive, and with the settings that you need right out of the box, and connectors soldered on so they're plug and play straight into the drive motors, and you don't have to worry about any of the configuration yourself. You still have the option to change the settings if you want to, but it's no longer a necessity, and that made me confident enough to release them as a standalone product. The way that the sport of football has been played hasn't really changed that much in the last five years, and arguably it hasn't changed that much in the last 25 years. But combat robotics is changing wildly, even just every year, as things progress as far as the meta of what designs are most competitive, which weapon types are beating other weapon types and are good counters to even more weapon types, and so on. One of the great things about combat robotics is that people refer to it kind of like as a game of rock, paper, scissors, where there's a lot of type advantages for one style of robot over another. But as beater bars become more and more common, overhead saws become more and more common to defeat them, and the optimization battle goes back and forth of who can figure out attachments and upgrades to their bots to make it so that they'll beat the widest variety of their opponents. I don't think that we'll ever see one design able to beat 100% of every robot that it faces 100% of the time, but I'm happy to be a part of moving that meta forward with game-changing products to make it so that more and more people can try their wild ideas on their first robot and also work on many more iterations moving forward. Before I go, I'd just like to once again thank every single one of you who's watching this video and anyone who's watched any of my past videos. Whether you're subscribed to the channel or not, even just leaving a comment below a video is enough to help with the YouTube algorithm spreading it to more and more people. And like I said many times, my goal with this YouTube channel is to get as many people involved in the sport of robotics as possible, especially younger kids who might not know what engineering is all about until they start solving engineering problems without even knowing it, just trying to build their very first Beetleweight. So I'm looking forward to some awesome stuff coming in 2026, and for my next 10,000 subscribers, I sure hope they come a lot faster than the first half did. Thank you so much for watching, and check the links in the description to get entered into that giveaway for division parts. That's all I've got for you today. Bye-bye.